You know what you hear from a lot of women that are post-divorce? My husband was a workaholic. He just dove into his work and he put blinders on to the rest of the world around him. It was all about his work. I couldn't get him to do much of anything else. He was at the office for long hours. When he was home, he went to his home office. He was on his phone all the time, tapping away, messaging, trying to get that next big deal. And the woman feels neglected, understandably. From one self-professed workaholic, let me give you a different perspective on this. And this does not apply to every situation, so don't go there, okay? Now, I'm just saying that this is common enough that I hear this from a lot of guys that I talk to. Dadstartingover.com. We have one-on-one coaching. The man is this super successful salesman type dude, right? And uh, he works really, really hard. He's pounding the streets. He's hitting the phones, and he lands a big deal, and it gets him a big $10,000 commission, which leads to another deal, which leads to another deal. And he's getting a lot of pats on the back. And the boss is calling him in the office and saying, you know, you keep this up. You're up for the VP of sales job. I'm telling you, man, in just a few short years, the job is yours. Keep it up. And people are coming to him asking for help, mentorship. It's really boosting his ego. It's really validating him, making him feel like a million bucks. He is rewarded. He puts in his time. He puts in the effort. He does the right thing. And the office rewards him with money, status. Status is huge to men. Can't overemphasize that. And then the dude comes home and he walks in the door. Honey, you won't believe what the boss said to me. He called me in his office and, and the wife cuts him off and says, remember yesterday when I said, could you take that one thing outside out of the garage? You forgot to do it. And the guy goes, oh, shit, I'm sorry. I'll do that here in a second. But guess what the boss said? The boss said that. And she goes, why is it you always discount everything that I say? I ask one thing of you and you can't do it. And the guy slumps his shoulders, hangs his head, and goes, I'll do it right now. And he takes the thing outside, and he comes back inside, and the wife says, and the trash. You forgot that too. I can't do everything around here. Understood. I got it. Cool. And he takes the trash out. And he comes back in, and the wife says, did you even check your uh, son's grades? Do you even know what's going on with school? And the tone is bas basically from the wife. The tone is, you've been gone doing all this job stuff. You leave me here with all the responsibilities of the home stuff. It's not fair. I feel overwhelmed as a woman. I feel like all the responsibilities on my shoulders and uh, this isn't really fair. And the guy's like, okay, well, maybe she has a point. I'll chip in a little harder. I'll do a little bit more work around the house and do more things to help out with the family and the kids. So basically the tone at home is one of, I'm not doing enough. I'm, I'm not good enough. I, I could do better. And then he goes back to work the next day and guess what he gets? More pats on the back, more attaboys prospective customer that he's been working on for weeks and weeks says, I'm ready to do that deal. This is a $20,000 commission for him. Holy shit. He can't wait to go home and tell his wife. The cute little receptionist from downstairs says, Hey, you're looking really handsome in that shirt today, mister. He's like, well, things are just clicking for him. This is awesome. Then he goes home, honey, guess what I did? And she goes, before you get started. And she lays into him again. That man has a lot of incentive to stay more so in the office than to come home. Why? The office is a reward. It's a reward in terms of money, and it's a reward in terms of just in general making him feel better about himself. Newsflash, people gravitate to what makes them feel good. Other newsflash, they go away from what makes them feel bad. He comes home every day to, here's what you did bad. Here's what you did wrong, and here's how you are failing. And he goes to work, and he hears, here's how you're awesome, and here's your reward, more money more status. Just food for thought.